Hello, hello. This is 7JJ Heaven. Welcome. As you can see, here is something interesting. And I prepared some elements which I probably use later on. Water, uh, watercolors. Here I have my uh, brushes for watercolors, uh, some drawing tools. This is tea with milk, some green elements which I also will probably use and the main uh, the main element of uh, today uh, video because I received uh, quite a lot of questions uh, about uh, the difference between these two let me arrange the camera in a better way for you okay the uh, the difference between these uh, uh, two uh, travelers notebook refills one of them is uh, number 12 and second one is number 27 so I will tell you today about uh, how I see this uh, difference and uh, it happened that uh, I am now uh, preparing to my new project connected with nature and that's the reason I wanted to have uh, uh, these uh, two sketchbooks because I'm going to draw a lot <laughs> and uh, paint but uh, uh, we have two sketchbooks uh, in uh, uh, Traveler's uh, Notebook range and let's start from this first one. This uh, 012, I will put aside now the second one. This one is classic sketchbook. As you can see, it is written here sketch paper. Sketch paper, see? And sketch pa paper means that paper is a bit thicker uh, than normally and takes very well um, kind of uh, fine liners or uh, color crayons uh, things like that but when talking about watercolor and the general in general uh, wet media sometimes it is a uh, uh, problem this sketchbook uh, has 24 pages 24 pages 24 uh, 24 pages pages yes i guess 24 uh, no um, 48 pages and 24 cards so, it is classic uh, Traveler's Company uh, welcome page and later on we have these uh, pages with perforations so you can easily uh, tear out uh, the, the, the card if you want. And in general this, uh, this paper is, as I said, quite thick. It will take very, very well this uh, dry uh, media. So this is uh, number 12. And now number 27. Number 27, as you may see, it says watercolor paper watercolor paper what means that this is different paper than here because we here we have sketch paper and this is watercolor paper and in case of this uh, 
uh, rifle. The paper is uh, much more thicker than the sketch paper and at the same time is uh, uh, twice less of the paper in the refill because it's just uh, 12 uh, cards so 24 pages well you also may see here on this uh, information you can see this sketch paper watercolor paper the uh, uh, the sketch of the notebook is the same but here when it's watercolor paper you have a brush and paint to show you right that this is watercolor and this is sorry for shaking but I have terrible tripod at the moment I have to live with this <laughs> so you see this is the the difference this one has twice more pages and this one has twice less pages we will see for a moment how it uh, works because I'm going to to do some uh, sample drawings and we will see first one I'm going to try this uh, regular uh, 12 number and let's maybe leave it here for you to remember what is the, the number and let's see I'll do very very simple sketch just to uh, just to try this this is uh, Pigma Micron 03 and let's try to do this uh, this nice uh, green small elements Here are some leaves. It's really nice to uh, write on that because this is very, very good quality paper. And there is no any issues so far. So it takes the fine liner very, very well, of course. <laughs> this is the quality which is very important in most cases, especially when talking about watercolor. You have to remember that paper first. <laughs> Okay, I did it. Now I can use some color pencils. It also takes great. I love this kind of paper for uh, color pencils because it's usually very 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 nice and juicy color I have to find some new uh, settings for tripod because if I draw it really shakes like crazy. So that's uh, really very, very nice uh, surface for 
kind of dry media it may give you very nice solid color depends on your technique and works really beautifully you can see now really nice uh, applying of of media now we will try to use some let's say this is uh, Kol uh, Kolinsky red sable number five now I have to be careful not to put this into my tea <laughs> which is usually very often I have here one of my uh, small palettes. Uh, these are here Daniel, Daniel Smith uh, watercolor and here Sonnelier. And I'll, I'll try to put some wash on this paper. Generally this paper uh, it's quite okay for watercolor. We don't have to be worried very very much. Of course if you use too much water then it starts to be problematic but but in general it's it's not uh, it's not the, the the case that you can't use it but of course uh, it may buckle a bit we will see for a moment uh, i don't apply for all page because then i know that it will work uh, not very well. I used this kind of paper before and this uh, particular uh, refills. But here today just to show you what is the difference. The, uh, this kind of paper is uh, not good for watercolor, for, for wheat media, not only because uh, because it's, uh, I would say, tin <laughs> for, for watercolor, for example, but uh, because the paper is a bit uh, fuzzy, uh, the, the, the surface of the paper, and uh, what is great for dry media, because it uh, comes uh, nicely into this fuzziness and uh, gives very good effect. It's not good for watercolor because watercolor wants to to flow and wants to fly on the paper on the surface and here it's not possible. But as you can see, you can use watercolor in this uh, 12 number 12 refill. Uh, especially if you use not too much water, it might be great. However, some techniques uh, will be uh, not so uh, easy to use here, like let's say wet in wet technique, because this kind of paper uh, does not allow uh, colors to spread much. You see, normally it would be much more. Uh, spread on uh, better paper than, than here. However, this particular uh, color is generally quite intrusive, so is is uh, uh, trying to uh, push out the the other color. Okay, we will leave it as now and try to see this one watercolor refill. I uh, haven't used this before, so. I don't have idea what to expect, so we will see. So 27 for watercolor and let's try, let's try. Um, I do here maybe something uh, bigger. because I know that probably I can use very simple sketch. I can use uh, some more water. 
so we'll see Let's try use it. As I thought so, this paper is not like real watercolor paper. It's thicker. It's very similar to the previous one, but it's uh, thicker. That's the reason it probably will work better. But doesn't have this kind of features, which usually uh, has real watercolor paper. So this is very very press impre uh, first impression of mine. We will see what will happen later on. I'm giving now much more water and we will see how how it will manage this. So far it's okay. But you never know oops what will happen for a moment. But anyway, uh we don't have to be uh, worry very much because uh, in traveler's notebooks we usually don't use uh, lots of water. You see this uh, was intrusive color <laughs> when I put uh, this is the uh, this kind of green which I love from Daniel Smith. When I put this it spreads very fastly. We will see this here. Bam! You see here? So, oh, this is also the question of the amount of water you use, but few, also features of some particular colors and paper. Okay. Okay, so far so good. We see here on this one leaf is lots of color. We can play a bit with uh, this water. Water is very disciplined because if there is not too much water, then it always uh, keeps the border of the leaf in this case you see and then we can play with color with shadows at this very moment uh, 
looks quite well even dries i'm afraid a bit to <laughs> to see uh, the the other side of the page but okay we will see for a moment let's uh, go back to our first uh, drawing now maybe you can't see this but i see this and i feel this this uh, paper is buckling a bit here Uh, what it means? Uh, it means that water, it soaks uh, uh, water. So if paper is back, buckling, uh, then you know that this is not for me with wet media. However, as I said, if, if you don't mind and if you don't uh, use much water, then still you can uh, use uh, wet media in this uh, sketchbook. This is uh, quite good uh, in general, um, quite good quality of paper. So this uh, number 12 sketchbook uh, is uh, generally for dry media, but uh, it may survive even if you use some watercolor uh, in it. This uh, watercolor sketchbook this one is doing much better because i even feel now <clears throat> that paper is not buckling but this is obvious because this paper is i would say almost twice uh, thicker than the previous one maybe a bit here but not much but uh, the quality of the surface, if, uh, if you have big experience with watercolor paper, uh, will tell you that this is not uh, classic watercolor paper. So uh, it, it doesn't, uh, I would say that it, it it doesn't remind uh, any uh, watercolor paper, hot press or cold press, anything like that. It's rather, I would say, very good quality sketch paper, thick one. But for what for watercolor, I prefer uh, different uh, surfaces of uh, classic watercolor papers. But still, come on. <laughs> This is a good sketchbook, you can use it uh, and if you don't have a big experience with watercolor um, and deep experience then you can uh, even not uh, notice the difference. Okay, so I hope that was helpful for you, these two sketchbooks. Just it's uh, good to remember here is sketch paper, uh, twice uh, bigger when talking about pages, here is watercolor paper, the paper is thicker and the sketchbook is, uh, it has twice uh, less uh, pages than this one. But in uh, both uh, sketchbooks, uh, Anyway, you can use with wet media. Uh, however, you have to remember when using uh, wet media here in the sketch on the sketch paper, then you have to uh, be careful with the amount of water because otherwise you will get uh, buckling. And the technique uh, of working with color is uh, a bit different because. Uh, this kind of paper and this as well uh, is not uh, the surface is not uh, giving you uh, so many freedom in using watercolor techniques like uh, other papers i would even not uh, try to put here or here masking fluid but maybe it will work. I guess it, it will stick to the surface too much. 
but maybe I'll I'll try one day and you will see it okay so that's uh, that's the difference uh, in my opinion you can use uh, whatever you want uh, I was uh, wondering myself about this sketchbook with uh, watercolor paper. Um, I was counting on uh, real watercolor paper. Uh, this paper is not, but it's quite okay for... Uh, come on, we are talking just about sketches, about some uh, travel sketches or everyday life sketches. This is uh, not... Uh, 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 this is not a uh, masterpiece, right? So we have to remember about the the purpose of the of the sketchbooks. Uh, anyway, both sketch sketchbooks are in general very good quality, as all uh, travelers uh, company products. So you can now make your choice and take this one, which you like the best. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.